Hello again, everyone. You know, we've heard it time and time again. Many Americans, in fact, some studies say most Americans are overweight. Well, there's another study showing it's the same with our pets, but many pet owners consider their chubby animals to be fat and happy, so they really don't think about it. Well, you probably should. New at 5.30 tonight, WECT's Christiana with an exclusive report that shows just how harmful it can be to have a fat cat. Christy? Yeah, John, when I heard that a National Association for Pet Obesity Prevention was located in Brunswick County, I thought, well, that's something I didn't know. And then my first question was, what's the big deal if a pet is a little overweight? Well, Dr. Ernie Ward is the leading expert in this field, and he sure answered that question. We should have seen it coming. We're getting fatter and fatter, and now so are our pets. But what's the big deal if Sparky is big boned. This shortens their lives and I mean we love these guys and imagine if you're cutting their life short by two to three years just by overfeeding it and that's the reality. Dr. Ernie Ward founded the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention right in Calabash, North Carolina five years ago. Is it sagging or is it tucked up? A normal abdomen should be tucked up and if it's sagging down your pet's probably overweight or obese. Which puts Bailey at risk for heart disease, diabetes and cancer to name a few. In fact, obesity is now the leading cause of death in our furry friends. Speaking of which... My fiancé has a 25-pound cat. How much of a problem is that? Wow. That's a big problem. Uh, 25 pounds for a cat. This cat should typically weigh between 8 and 10 pounds. And according to Dr. Ward's pet-to-human weight translator, if Gunner was a 5'7 human, he'd weigh more than 400 pounds. For Gunner, this extra weight is literally a death sentence. So what can we do? The most important tool a pet owner can have in fighting this is a measuring cup. A lot of people just estimate how much food to give their pets, but that's not the way to do it according to Dr. Ward. For example, a typical cat just needs half a cup of food for the entire day. It doesn't look like much in a big bowl, but that's all you need. Fido doesn't need the sugar and extra calories any more than you need a king-sized candy bar. And lastly, how about some exercise? It might be tough at first to get going, but he needs 20 to 30 minutes of activity a day. Try those three things and add years to your pet's life. Because Dr. Ward will tell you, if we don't shape up, we're barking up the wrong tree. Now, I mentioned a pet to human weight translator in that story. It's maybe not the most scientific part of the website for the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention, but it's pretty accurate and it really gets your attention when you put a pet's weight in human terms. Now, to figure out how much your cat or dog would weigh if it were human, log on to WECT.com. We've linked you to the calculator. Live in the studio, I'm Christy Ando for WECT News at 530. A great story, Christy. Thanks. Let's hope a lot of people go to that site. Make sure your pet is in shape just like you are.